How about uh, Vince Vaughn? Oh, I love it. I, uh, I'm excited right now. I'm having a great time. You know what I'm saying, baby? Kinsey here with YHN's Quiet on the Set. On today's episode, we're taking you behind the scenes as CBS's Two Broke Girls star Jonathan Kite vogues for Paper Magazine. Mr. Jonathan Kite of CBS's Two Broke Girls. We're shooting a photo shoot for Paper Magazine today. Yeah. You're voguing. I'm excited. I am voguing. Are you really were? You did a lot of um, kicks. Are, yeah. are you trying to tell me that you've had some karate in the past and some lessons perhaps? Uh, you taekwondo. I think uh, anyone who's read my resume knows that. I was uh, six years old. Does taekwondo include a black belt? Is that what you're rocking? I own a black belt. I think it's from Gap. Did you think that Two Broke Girls was going to be as hugely successful as it is? I don't think I was necessarily focused on how successful I thought it was going to be, but I think you just kind of show up and work and hope that it's amazing and hope that what you're doing is fun that the audience and people out there get how fun and cool you think it is and hopefully it translates. Are people surprised when you have a very English-American accent? Yes, we actually had a, um, a Polish dialect coach on the show and she thought that I was Ukrainian. She couldn't believe she had never met because a lot of people with similar dialects or whatever, they you know audition against each other all the time and she had never met me and so she thought that was weird. Your character is kind of skeevy. Do you think that there are people out there like that in real life that aren't getting away with it the way you do? I think that he is sexually loose, which I think a lot of the rest of the world is uh -huh. in a different way than I think it is with America. Right. And so even their commercials, like if they're selling like a, a car, it's maybe it's just like a penis and you're like what what kind of commercial is this and then you're and then you're like oh it's an automobile commercial <laughs> you were a cook in real life i did i held the job that Oleg had at this place um where i went to school at the university of illinois champaign urbana so i did that i i mean i added fake cheese and um, oil to everything that people ate and it was delicious. What's going on with Black Dynamite? The animated series. I'm on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I play a lot of random white people, which oh, is wow. awesome. Like Henry Kissinger, Walter Cronkite, uh, Nixon, uh, Sean Connery, and then a bunch of uh, characters. It's like I'm in a lot of episodes. It's really, really, really fun. Your bio states very proudly that you do great impersonations. I, do yes, I do. Do I get some or do I have to like slip you do... a doll and make you holla? I can holla. How about uh, Vince Vaughn? Oh, I love it. I, uh, I'm excited right now. I'm having a great time. You know what I'm saying, baby? I mean, I like the, I like the blazer on you, baby. Like, if I was working at the uh, shop right now, I'd say, that's a money blazer. That blazer's going to get you laid, baby, and I know how to get laid. You know what I'm saying, baby? I know how to lay. I'm not going to lay you out, baby. Not in that blazer. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. I'm so in love with you right now. <laughs> Do you remember your first MySpace friend, aside from Tom? Oh, my God. That is a... That's one of the best questions I've ever been asked because people try to block MySpace in a weird way because it's been replaced all those memories with Facebook memories I feel like yeah. um, gosh it was probably my cousin or like my best friend or something well thank you so much for talking to Young Hollywood we think you're a treat thank you so much oh we're gonna hug it out now we are gonna hug it out this, oh. is, this is what Oleg does brings it in for the real thing he does brings it in for the real thing